Independently owned restaurants are a big part of what makes downtown St. Petersburg unique. And we are joined today by Tui Lee, owner of La Vie Vietnamese Fusion and Luna Loca Latin Asian Fusion, which is right next door. Yes. So good to see you again. Oh, you too. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. So you were here almost a year ago. Yes. And I remember you brought these last time and they were so delicious. Thank you. So we're excited to have you back. And we mentioned St. Pete, obviously known for the Healthy St. Pete kind of initiative that's going on. Yes. And Vietnamese is very healthy. It's very vegetable based. Talk about Vietnamese food. Uh, yes, it is actually my number one favorite food. Uh, the, <laughs> the fact that because it's tasty, it's fresh, it's healthy. And uh, the fact that we have all the vegetable mm -hmm. and we keep them nice and fresh. Uh, versus like you saute them with oil. Okay. So that's the difference. Now explain your two concepts of restaurants too, because one has a Latin influence as well. Yes. So I'm interested to hear why you wanted to do that as well. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so La Vie Vietnamese fusion is mainly focused into the Vietnamese cuisine. Okay. Like but, what you grew up with, what yes. your mom cooked. Yes. Okay. And right next door, uh, we have this new restaurant, Luna Lu uh, Loca. Mm -hmm. It's Latin Asian fusion uh, restaurant where we have Latin dishes, but we put a little bit of Asian twist to it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are you making for us today? All right, we're going to make a uh, fresh spring roll today. Okay. And I bring all my own ingredients. And uh, when you're so ready, this I'm is ready. the finished here. So this is what they're supposed yes. to look like, which mm -hmm. I'm amazed because I have no idea how you do this. Yes. So. Yes. So first you would want to get the rice paper and look how thin this is. Yeah. It is nice and crispy when it's raw. But as soon as you dip into the water, it becomes nice and soft. Okay. And then you lay on this dry sheet. I'm going to make two of them at the same time. So here goes. Okay. Three, second one. So again, these are all ingredients. The best thing about spring roll is that you can always substitute for however you want to have and whatever you have available at home. Okay. I like to use the... Can um, you find these rice papers pretty... I mean, do they have them like in the ethnic sections of the yes, grocery store absolutely. and stuff? Okay. Yes, yes. So if mm -hmm. you don't have this contraption though, do you just put it in a big bowl of water and just do yes. it kind of face down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. So I like to use my mixed uh, letters. Uh, I like the little spring, uh, the bean, uh, bean sprout because okay. it's nice and crispy. Mint leaves. And again, with all of this, you can always substitute whatever you have at home. Okay. But it fit you. What I'm making you today is the shrimp. And I would lay the shrimp um, outside of it so you get a nice and pink outside once we wrapped it up. And then I would fill it up with noodles, the vermicelli noodles here. Okay. Um, and again, these you can substitute with rice, with beans, with cheese, however you like your taste bud to be. Okay. I would just like fold them just like okay, how you wait, fold wait, yeah. a, a clothing, like okay. a shirt, like a t-shirt. Okay. Or I'm thinking yes. like a burrito maybe, but yes, okay. Yes, yes. That is so. true. Are they a little sticky? Do they top? stick to... They, they're a little bit sticky, uh, but it's not too bad. The okay. fact is because it's kind of moist already. Okay. And just kind of roll them up. And this is how I roll them. You make that look pretty easy. Yes. So earlier, the young gentleman were asking me how what I put the lettuce in because he tried to do it at home. Ah, there you go, so Jordan. Our cameraman is fascinated yes. with this. Okay. Yes. Oh, look how good. And there you go. Yes. I am impressed. That was yes. quite simple. Again, I don't know how well we could do it at home, but we trust you. <laughs> how many different varieties of spring rolls do you have at your restaurants? Uh, at the restaurant right now, we have two. We have the, the pork and we have the shrimp. Okay. Those um, are the two most popular ones. Yes, but we have our regular uh, customer comes in and request for a particular like avocado. We would substitute oh, for avocado. Okay. The salmon and avocado together is mm -hmm. amazing. I'm sure. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we watch you do it one more time? Yes, is that you're going to do this one? All right. So again fold it again like clothes yes <laughs> <laughs> like you're folding a shirt yes all right and you know, i know you wanted to mention the holidays are here catering you do a lot of catering this oh time. absolutely we always have the catering menu available at mm -hmm. the restaurant okay uh, i also work really well with the budget so okay. when you come have like a big party and I imagine you know, we spring can rolls are such a great thing you yes. know that you can have at your parties with all the sandwiches i know the soup uh, is really yes. popular as mm -hmm. well. Uh, anything else you'd recommend for catering as we wrap up here? Uh, when it comes to catering, you want to have some like small items, mm -hmm. more like a, you know, um, kind of like finger foods. foods. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we have all of that. We have all the pictures. So it's really easy when you look at our catering menus okay. and then try to pick what you like. Well, thank you so much again. It was yes. so good to see you thank and you. Uh, happy holidays. Oh, you too. Thank you very much. All right. Yes. Of course, we'll put more info on our website as well.